Hello folks, and welcome to the tutorial about projects in Phoenix. Projects is a custom post type that is added to your website as soon as you install the Phoenix companion plugin that's provided with a the theme. And it serves the purpose of creating content that's going to be part of a portfolio-like presentation. To create a new project, navigate to Projects and then Create New in your WordPress admin. In its simplest form, each project is composed by a title, an extended textual content, and a featured image. Optionally, projects can be filed under a specific category. Additionally, projects can be further defined by adding a subtitle and a set of metadata that helps to refine the categorization of the project, allowing you to specify the year of the project, the client the project was built for, and the role you fulfilled in it. Each project page can have its own particular layout that will display all of the above information as well as a gallery for the project which is none other than a set of pictures and videos. In this case, we're using a layout that will display the product media items below the textual content right at the center of the page. Project galleries can also have a layout of their own. You could opt to have the images stacked in a series, one on top of the other, or choose to have a slider or lay them out in a grid format. For the sake of this video, let's use a masonry layout. After you save the project, let's go and see how it looks. Now, you're probably going to create more than one project in your website. And that's why we've introduced a portfolio content block for our custom-built page builder, Bricks. Portfolio blocks are the perfect way to group projects in a single page. In this case, we're adding a portfolio block that will pick up all of the projects we've created in the website and organize them in a metro layout. You can include or exclude items belonging to a particular project category, select a presentation style for project loop items, and even decide whether or not to use Ajax pagination so that you can go back and forth without the need to refresh the page. Once you have all of the projects available, you can also add a filter control on top of them to give your visitors the ability to filter through them by category or by the previously added metadata. Now that we have set up our portfolio block, let's see how it looks. As you can see, the layout and the presentation are exactly what we had in mind, and the filter offers you a great and easy to set up tool to navigate through your works. This was just an introduction to projects, how they work and what they can do. For more about how to use them effectively in the theme, go check their page on the documentation website that is linked in the description. Thank you for watching this. Make sure to discover Phoenix amazing features and try the available demos on our website. Stay tuned for more tutorials and updates and make sure to follow us on Team Forest, Twitter, Facebook and YouTube to get the latest news on Phoenix.